Game 7. The Knicks have endured six long games. Three they have won. Three they have lost. It is now the last stand. There is no looking back as they must lay it all on the line against the Pacers. It's all come down to Game 7 of the Conference Semifinals. Up next. Well, this is what we've all been waiting for. Game 7. The winner to advance to the Conference Finals and get one step closer to a championship. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark Kelly. Here's the starting group for the Indiana Pacers. Benedict Matherin is out there with Pascal Siakam. Then there's Tyrese Halliburton. Then it's turn. And it's Nemhard in at the two-guard spot. And for the Knicks, Dante DiVincenzo. He's out there with Jalen Brunson. Then it's OG Ananobi. Then it's Josh Hart. And it's Hartenstein in at the five. Look at Indiana. Greg is the lower seed. This is a scenario you might have taken coming into the series. Now they're faced with winning a game seven on the road. No doubt, you, you're going to have to win games in enemy territory, and one of those wins might have to come in a game set. To do the job, they're going to need a lot of mental toughness here tonight. Unfazed by the defense, Matherin doesn't let that disrupt his motion one eye older. Brunson kicks to Hart. Back to Brunson. The 15-footer, good. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. Well, they better be thinking about him. I mean, we know how dangerous he is. Right side Turner. Back to Halliburton. Got a piece of it. And they hit it back. And Turner is exceptionally good at getting guys up in the air. He's got a really wicked shot fake, which fools even the best defensive player. It's his first trip to the line. All three throws good from Turner. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. Brunson surveying the D. Pass to Hartenstein. In the corner, it's DiVincenzo. Kept alive by New York. And Anobi finds Brunson. And Anobi is screen on Matherin. Shot clock at five. Second chance shot. A putback. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to fall. And so Siakam will bring it up for the Pacers. They come into the game following the win on Sunday. And you know what? It, sometimes it's hard to say whether or not defensively you were on your game. But bottom line is their opponent didn't shoot it well. And you've got to take some of the credit from a defensive standpoint. No question about it. I mean, it's all about the results, right? And you can limit open looks. Sometimes you can get into an opponent's head. So even when they do spring free, they lack the confidence or at least are distracted and aren't able to knock those shots down. Halliburton passes to Siakam. Back to Halliburton. To the middle. And Siakam with the basket on the assist by Halliburton. Sweet dime that time from Halliburton. This combo guard has really impressive floor awareness, folks. Nemhard, the pass to Halliburton. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brunson. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Siakam. And the foul called on OG and Nobi. That's his first foul. And now he won away from being in the penalty. Yep, the next one puts them on the line, so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. To the paint. Here's Matherin. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Matherin's got his second bucket tonight. Nice work inside from Matherin. Showing you he's not just a jump shooter. Two minutes. Two minutes. DiVincenzo against Halliburton. DiVincenzo kicks to Brunson. Back to DiVincenzo. Just five on the clock. Their offense stone cold. Another miss there. Bounce pass, Matherin. Knocked away. Pass to Hartenstein. 
Halliburton with the steal. For the finish. Now that's how to finish the break. Throw down with force. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. Runs in the pass to Ananobi. Brunson sends a screen for Ananobi. And the foul called on OG Ananobi. That's foul number two for him. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Excellent example of toughness and physicality on defense. Got his nose right in the middle of things and made a play. And the Knicks making a change here. McBride's checked in and a change for the Pacers. T.J. McConnell, he's checked in for Halliburton. A different look for New York. Bogdanovich comes in for O.G. Ananobi. And it's Burks in for Dante DiVincenzo. 104 left to play here in the first. Indiana moving it around. Now here's Neesmith. Shot clock at six. Siakam inside. It's deflected. Now Burks. Now the pass to Hart. Burks kicks to Bogdanovich. And he's good on the three ball. And you let Bogdanovich just catch and shoot like that, he'll make more than he misses of those. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Now, here's Neesmith. He's covered by Bogdanovich. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Here's Burks. Plays it up and banks it in. Defensively, you just can't afford to give these easy looks up. Just asking to get burned if you do. Siakam with it. Good if it goes. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for him. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Pacers lead by three. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And we're back for more exciting action from the Eastern Conference Semifinal. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Indiana. Their chemistry. That's what really stood out so far in this one to me. Look at the number of assists they've been able to rack up so far. And another thing, guys, they've been very active tonight, frequently creating scoring opportunities off turnovers. They've got a Chua. Jalen Brunson out there with Bogdanovich. And it's Diakite in at the four. That's the five for New York right now. Here's McBride. He's covered by Halliburton. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. A different look for New York. Sims is checked in. And Alec Burks subbed in for Bogdanovich. Brunson against McConnell. Pocket six. From the high post. The shot's good from Brunson. Brunson's got the lead up to two now for the Knicks. Great jumper there from Brunson, living off that mid-range. Stolen away. Here's McBride. Rejected by Halliburton. A different look for New York. Diakite's checked in, and OG Ananobi subbed in for Burks. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. DiVincenzo passes to Ananope. Brunson with it. And Brunson, a very physical player. Someone that understands how to bait defenders into fouling. And a chance now to catch up on some numbers for the hustle stance for the Knicks. Well, you know, they've been aggressive on the defensive end, and it's paying off for them. Quite a few takeaways for them in the early going. And one other thing that stands out. All the block shots. I mean, staying up in their jerseys tonight. He's off on the second. And one area where Brunson's improved is in the clutch. He's a monster in crunch time. Nice to have a player you can depend on in those key situations. Toppin sets a screen for McConnell. Six to shoot. Here's Halliburton. It's rebounded by New York. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. 
And here is Achua. He has yet to score. Runs in the pass to Diakite. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Yeah, easy call. Yeah, you can hear the smack all the way over here where we are. The Knicks have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. Hartenstein, he's checked in for New York. And so he makes both from the line. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Definitely, that's one of the reasons they're in front right now. And again, the turnover by the Pacers. In the second quarter, held scoreless. And New York making a change here. Achua is jacked in. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Here's Brunson. It doesn't go for him. Excellent defense there from Halliburton. Here's Nemard, covered by Achua. And a fast break now for the Knicks. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. And some changes here for the Pacers. Siakam is checked in for Toppin. And it's Benedict Matherin in for Neesmith. Good on the second free throw. Pacers trail by six. Halliburton outside. Shoots over Brunson. The shot's good from Halliburton. Whenever that mid-range jump shot is available, Halliburton is going to take advantage of it. He's a really good passer, but also an opportunistic scorer. Pass to DiVincenzo. That falls. Nice feed that time from Brunson. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys? Honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. Inside. Here's Turner. Got a hand on it. And they get it back. That one's in there. The New York lead is cut down to just four points with a bucket from Siakam. 151 left in the first half of the game. Ananobi a screen on Halliburton. Pass to Ananobi. This one for three. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Oh, great ball movement there. And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for the Pacers. Outside Matherin. 124 left in the first half. Good on the three-point shot. Yeah, Matherin wanted this bad. He wants to one-up them at the arc. And so New York calls timeout. They're first. The Pacers making a switch here. McConnell's checked in. Here's McBride. Nothing on the board. Hart with a screen on McConnell. With the drive. McBride's shot is off. You know, even though it's a point-blank range shot, that's not an easy one, especially when the defense is that tight. Passes it to Nemo. Indiana moving it around. And an OB against Matherin. Five to shoot. Off target with his three. The Knicks leading by four. There's 38 seconds left here in the second. The pass to Hart. Down low. McBride passes to Hartenstein. Nemhard grabs the board. Well, you know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but... Maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. McConnell kicks to Siaka. No good with the triple. Now here's DiVincenzo. Launches it. Hits it from three-point range. DiVincenzo's got the lead up to seven now for New York. And there's DiVincenzo with the quick trigger. Did not give him any room defensively. You've got to eliminate his airspace. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. The Pacers, 17.
some great postseason action. Well, sometimes when you come in as a heavy favorite, you build the lead, then you take the foot off the gas. They've got the guard against that. And looking at where the Knicks stand in this series. Game seven, we... And that'll do it for halftime. We send you back to Kevin Harlan, who... back with us live as we bring you continuing coverage of the Eastern Conference semifinals. Nice game. Great performance by Benedict Matherin. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. And so in the game for the Pacers, they've got Benedict Matherin. Miles Turner out there with Pascal Siakam. Then it's Halliburton. And it's Nemhard in at the two-guard spot. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brunson. That'll be his second foul of the game. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. And that block was something. It's the playoffs. And every possession and defensive stop matters. On defense, New York. Halliburton outside. Matherin for three. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Brunson the pass to DiVincenzo. Back to Brunson. Driving to the basket. Count that one. And it's a 12-point New York lead. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. To the inside. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley -oop. Tell you what, you wouldn't know they're the team trailing when they're able to pull off plays like that. And the wide-open shot from DiVincenzo. A shot's good on the assist by Brunson. Brunson's got three assists now in this one. Right around a minute and a half, playing here in the third quarter. Siakam finds Halliburton. Tries again, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Showing great effort level on the glass. Siakam has improved his rebounding capabilities every year he's been in the league. Now DiVincenzo. He's got eight. Pass to Hart. Shot left block. Clock at four. New York needs to get off a shot. The Pacers pull it in. Siakam's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Dents the rim with a two-handed slam. Wow. Good job by Matherin to get up court quickly. Make sure they capitalize on the nice defensive play. There's a good screen. And it's sent back by Turner. Yes, that goes in. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Hart the pass to Brunson. On the wing, that's good on the jump shot. Brunson's got 15 points. Pacers trail by eight. Matherin for three. Frames the three, and yes, he'll go to the line for one more. It's going to go on Josh Hart. The Pacers shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. The Knicks making a switch here. Nick Bride's checked in. A tremendous score from the two-guard spot. Matherin is a little like Jason Richardson, former Warriors great. Perhaps Matherin can have that same type of career, maybe exceed it. Here's Hartenstein. Turner covering. Pass to Ananobi. Goes up on the high post. And there are the Knicks with another bucket. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. And a wide open look for Halliburton. It's rebounded by New York. 
13 points was their biggest lead in the game. It's Hart on the wing. He's covered by Halliburton. There's the pick. Here's DiVincenzo. And it's sent back by Turner. What timing from Turner. I mean, that's a big part of blocking shots. Reading the shooter and then timing it perfectly to send that shot in reverse. Indiana moving the ball over. Here's Nemhard, defended by DiVincenzo. And there's the call on Dante DiVincenzo. That'll be his second foul of the game. Fourth foul. Substitution on the court. There's 47 seconds left in the third. McDermott for three. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. McDermott's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. There's 42 seconds left here in the third quarter. Brunson against Siakam. Achua. The dunk by Achua. Oh, what a find. The, the ball just comes out of Brunson's hands on time. Brunson against McConnell. McDermott for three. It's hauled in by Achua. New York leading by six. Passes to Brunson. Here's the three. Good D by Siakam. And we've watched three so far in this one. It's out front. They're up by six. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. And let's listen to head coach Rick Carlisle. Hey, hey, it's all about physical. It's all about physical. Make sure we're running back. Touch somebody. Touch somebody. Pleading for his team break to be more physical and aggressive. Something we hear often from Coach Carlisle urging his team to play tough and physical. And we're back courtside at Game 7 as this series comes to a head. We've got Jalen Brunson. Achua is out there with Alec Burks. And it's McBride in at the two. That's the five for New York right now. That one falls for Brunson. The Knicks making a switch here. Sims is checked in. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's Halliburton. Here's Smith. And it's Smith finishing it off. Smith finishing with power. I like that dunk right there. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the New York Knicks. Six-point lead. Over Neesmith. Here's Burks. And the rejection by Smith. On the pass to McConnell. Down low. And the layup's good off the glass. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. My goodness. Pass to Neesmith. Fires for three. Good. And McConnell gets the assist. Neesmith has got himself on the board with three there. And those are the types of shots down the stretch that win you ball game. Brunson against McConnell. Brunson, good. And defensively, if you are not on point, Brunson more than capable of finishing inside. Toppin sets a screen for McConnell. Let's it go from 11. Smith kicks to McConnell. Toppin, no one around him. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. To the left wing. Here's McBride. He's covered by Halliburton. No good from outside. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. And the Pacers call time here. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. 
Well, during the break, I listened in on Rick Carlisle's huddle. He told them, this is what it's all about, proving we're the better team in the tough situation. But you got to want it. Coach told his guys they have what it takes to win here. Guys, back to you. Thank you, David. And let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Knicks. Really a great job in this one. Forcing the issues defensively. Great quickness and discipline combined, making ball handlers very uncomfortable. And they're also finding a good deal of their points off turnovers tonight. Seems like every time they come up with an extra possession, they find a way to convert. What a big time play by Tyrese Halliburton. Simply putting his team on his back. Halliburton against Brunson. Pacers with the rebound. Siakam's got six rebounds in the game. Halliburton on the wing. Pass to Nemo. Halliburton against Hart. And it's Halliburton missing. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Siakam against Brunson. Stein passes to Brunson. Six on the shot clock. For three. And the Knicks hit again from deep. And you can tell Brunson has been well coached. He knows just when to call for that pick and roll. Over in the corner, Matherin. And the basket is good. He's got a chance here for one more at the line. No, it's early in his career, but Matherin already knocking down several big shots late. He is absolutely the guy you want at the line in that situation. It just shows you how much he loves these moments. Out to Brunson. 107 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Passes it to DiVincenzo. Brunson. Brunson on the foul. Showing time and time again. He is comfortable being that first option. Brunson delivering in the clutch. This is a do or die possession. They have got to get points. It really does come down to this. They come up empty and it's over. Halliburton against Brunson. Turner passes to Halliburton. Money! That you want with the rock in his hand at crunch time. He always seems to deliver. And he commits the intentional foul. And they are in the driver's seat. Yes, they are. If they come away with points on this trip, Katie Barr will go. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a six-point ball game. Those are critical foul shots. Love to see him knock them down there. Halliburton for three. Back to Turner. Come on. Proving he has the clutch DNA. Love seeing Turner up his game during these big possessions. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy for this situation. And you know what? Who knows? If you miss it at the strike, and they're right there within range. You know, late game free throws are a lot different than early game free throws in terms of making. And the Pacers call time here. They're trailing by six. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Halliburton. And Siakam has it in the corner. It's in! What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. And delivering in the clutch, Siakam with zero fear, wanting the ball when it matters most. Good is the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can hit the second. That's good. Going one of two from the line, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And I love how unafraid Brunson is. You can tell he loves the challenge of the moment. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Second 
no foul. Team is in the penalty. And he drops the first one, and that puts them up by five. Nine, two shots. And a tough break is his second attempt at the line. No good. Matherin for three. Off target. And so the New York Knicks have won the series. They took the long road to get here, but they've done it. They're moving on to the conference finals, Greg, after a thrilling seven-game series and a win here in round two. And what a memorable series this was. So fitting that it came down to a game seven. And now, no rest for the weary. They've got to get right back to work. It's time for us to say so long. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage during the second round of the NBA Eastern Conference Playoffs. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching.